Who was the second United States president? Oh, John Adams. John, John Adams, Adam, yes. Yeah. Questions like these might stump many American citizens. One of the most famous conductors on the Underground Railroad. Uh, um, um, Harriet Tubman. But these immigrants pursuing citizenship are determined. Susan B. Anthony. Yes, Susan B. Anthony. And so are the retirement home residents prepping them to take their citizenship exams. This staffer refers to his tutor as father. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. My father asked me a lot of questions. Even the question, some of them is, is, no, is not in the book, but he, he also asked uh, ask me and then uh, give him the answer. So I have to keep it in my mind. The people who live at Goodwin House in Northern Virginia are doing more than just tutoring the migrants who work there. When residents learned that the $725 filing cost for citizenship was prohibitive, they decided to raise money to help the immigrant workers who do so many things for them. Citizenship for the people who have met all the requirements should not be such an expensive proposition. In 2018, resident Rita Siebenaller launched the program whereby residents would pay the cost for migrant staffers to file citizenship papers. So we put out the word and through a combination of resident donations and staff donations, we had about $40,000 in two weeks. It took us a little time to convince staff that this was real and that they should consider it. But after the first few, people applied for the citizenship grant and then studied for the exam and got their citizenship. It was just like wildfire. Hello, Ms. Sayson. Good morning to you. Hello, ma'am. Good ma morning. How are you? Maribel Karen Seha is the dining services manager at Goodwin House. Residents paid for her to become a citizen. She's bonded tightly to them. I come to work not only for the money. I give my 100% and my love to them. You know, I treat each and every one of them as, as my family. Goodwin House President Rob Liebrick says the staff members come from 68 different countries and that the elder care industry is becoming increasingly reliant on immigrant workers. Roughly one in four workers in long-term care facilities is an immigrant, he says. We're going to be doubling the size of the senior living population in the next 20 years of the 75-year-olds. And at the same time, we have the lowest birth rates in our country that we've ever had. And so we really need to find people to come in and provide hands-on care, support, etc. And that's where the immigrant population is so critical. I forget uh, when the Civil War started, do you remember? It was 1861 and 1865. Nock Uyen was regularly quizzed by residents when she was pursuing citizenship. They were searching for more information and provide me, help me to understand more about the American history and um, yeah, and how to become a citizen, not only to pass the citizenship test, but also how, how to be a good citizen. What rights do a citizen have? To vote. Ninety immigrant staffers at Goodwin House have engaged in the citizenship grant process, forging friendships with their older teachers along the way. Which state has the most people? California. California. Okay. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Alexandria, Virginia.